this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video. And another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today in this video, of course, as well as Esther, I am going to be joined by Lee Bear. Um, wrong corner, Lee Bear, wrong corner. You're supposed to go out of this corner. You've been... You've been a little bit rebellious recently. You used to every morning come out this painting and now I have no idea where you're going to show up. You could be behind the plant pot, you could be in the chest, you could be on the balcony. <laughs> I'm a man who loves my morning routines. And my morning routine is say hello to everyone, say hello to Liebe who comes out the painting, and then of course the best part of the morning routine to have my breakfast. Nom 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 nom. Ah, delicious. <laughs> right then, uh, the plan for today is we are going to decide who is the employee of the month of my Sweetie Pie candy shop. And it's only going to be me and Lee Bear, because uh, the uh, the game that I built uh, only works with two players. And uh, I might as well explain what the uh, the game is now, actually. So it's a game which is called Sweet Swap, and uh, Lee Bear hasn't seen it yet. So let me just uh, explain it to you uh, so you know how it works. So uh, the way it's going to work is we both start with nine Sweetie Pies, and you then have to race over the Candy Canyon doing some tricky parkour uh, to get to the Sweet Master, uh, which is a giant pink panda. You then have to swap the pumpkin pies for nine different types of candy. The Cherry Chomps, the Tangy Pops, the Sour Shocks, the Lime Slime, the Apple Fizzies, the Sugar Licks, the Merry Berry, the Triple Ripple, and the Pinky Winks. You then have to go and climb Candy Mountain uh, to go into the Sweet Shed. And then once you're in the Sweet Shed, uh, you've got to go and put all of the candy into the right chest. And if you do them in the, the right chest, uh, you receive a candy gem. Uh, once you have the candy gem, all you need to do is ride down the Sherbet Falls waterfall in a boat, and then you've got to put the gem in the mouth of a hungry turtle, and the first person to feed the candy uh, to the turtle uh, is the uh, is the winner. Uh, so a pretty simple game. Do, do you understand it, Lee Bear? Uh, are you ready to, to go and play it? Right then, let's go and play Sweet Shop. Uh, but before we do that, I of course need to go and head over to my love garden, uh, so I can announce uh, who it is that I am adding to it today. And today to the love garden, I am adding... Lo Logan Doodler. <laughs> and the reason I'm adding Logan Doodler is because he made this amazing paper model of the uh, spaceship uh, from WonderQuest. And you can see me and uh, Wizard Keen uh, in the, the inside, even though I seem to be lying down. <laughs> and I think it's absolutely amazing uh, that this entire creation uh, is made using just paper. As I wanted to say, uh, thank you so much for making the uh, the model and uh, sending it to me, Logan. And welcome to my love garden. And uh, something else? Uh, that we of course need to do uh, before we go and play our mini game is to go and decide which dog uh, is going to, to be joining us. And uh, yeah, uh, basically this dog is going to be the spectator because the uh, uh, the sweet swap game uh, is a um, uh, is a, a bear and cat only game. <laughs> I don't think uh, that any of the uh, the dogs uh, would be uh, able to, to play. It might be a, a little bit too dangerous for them, but uh, it doesn't matter uh, because uh, I can go and just have a dog to, to watch us. And I think I'm going to be joined by... What? Wait, wait a minute, what's... Lieber, ha have you been tunnelling? Have you been digging under the, the doghouse at all? No? Maybe my dogs have. Do you reckon there's going to be some bones hidden down here? What is this place? There seems to be a, a weird tunnel going underneath here somewhere. What, what is this place, actually? Have some of my Minecraft helpers been building down here? Wait a minute. This seems a little bit suspicious. <gasps> you don't think... You don't think hit the target, a tunnel leading straight to the doghouse. Who else would do it? Who else would be trying to tunnel into my doghouse? I think it's hit the target. I think he's tried to tunnel here so he can sneak all of my dogs out of here without me noticing. Right, this seems bad, but this could actually be quite good. Because hit the target stole Barnaby recently, maybe we could follow the tunnel to find out where hit the target is and maybe be able to rescue Barnaby. All right then, Lieber, how about you stay here and you keep all of the, the rest of my dogs safe. I'm going to go down the tunnel and I'm going to go and see if I can track down, uh, hit the target and hopefully uh, bring back Barnaby. So please keep my dogs safe. I'll be back as soon as I can. Right. Let's go down the dark and dangerous tunnel by myself. Uh, I got a sword and I got my bow and arrow. I'm hopefully going to, to be okay. Uh, but I'll be honest, uh, this is a little bit scary. Oh, is that, is that lava dropping from the ceiling as well? I think it's got to be hit the target. Sometimes uh, my Minecraft helpers do build random things in my world and I discover them and I have no idea what they are. Uh, but yeah, this just seems a little bit too suspicious to me. So let's go and try and very carefully uh, make my way through here. I'm going to go and uh, put 
torches up as well uh, so I can try and light up the uh, the tunnel a bit because uh, it is very dark down here and I don't uh, want any googlies uh, to be able to to attack me so let's go and uh, put a, a few torches around here and uh, hopefully we can find uh, wherever Barnaby's uh, been hidden. That's the uh, the goal. I've missed Barnaby uh, so much uh, since he was taken by Hit the Target, and I've just been waiting uh, for the uh, the opportunity uh, to go and try and uh, and get him back. And I think uh, this might uh, be it. This seems to be the uh, the best chance. But how long is this tunnel? I keep going left and right and up and down and all over the place. Look at it. It just looks like an endless tunnel into the the darkness. Right. I can't be scared though. This is the time I need to be brave uh, just to make sure uh, my dogs and my entire lovely world uh, are safe. So let's go and uh, bravely keep going forward and uh, we can find uh, wherever this uh, tunnel leads, uh, whether it's good or bad. And oh, I knew there'd be some googlies down here. Right, let's go and try and uh, deal uh, with this uh, this zombie as well. This place has hit the target written all over it. Let's try and uh, back off and I can go and try and uh, use my bow. Oh, there's a few of them. There's a few googlies down here. I think there's a, a skeleton down there as well. Let's go and uh, try and make sure we can uh, take them all out and I want to stay safe and ready uh, just in case I hit the target tries to, to ambush me. Let's just check behind me. I do seem to, to be safe and oh is this? Is this the end of the tunnel? I think this is sunlight. I think there's sunlight down here at the end of the tunnel. Ah, oh, yes, and I found a, a ladder as well. Right, I think uh, this is the uh, the end, but I have no idea uh, where this uh, tunnel has been uh, leading me to. So I want to try and uh, stay very careful. And what's this? Is this a, there's a dungeon down here as well. I think that's a spider spawner. Maybe he uses spiders to try and guard his castle. Right, let's try and be very careful. Um, oh, I think, I think this is, I think this is his castle. I think this is where the, the tunnel leads, so I think I was right. Yeah, look, you can see there's his flags there, and Barnaby! Barnaby, you're safe! Well, kind of safe. Right, Barnaby, don't worry, I'm going to break you out of here, but first I need to try and deal with hit the target so he doesn't try and ambush us. Where? Where is he? That's just the, the door to the, the outside. Maybe he's not here! Maybe hit the target's not here, and I can safely uh, try and get you uh, out of here. Let's try and go. Oh, oh, there's hit the target! He's right there! Oh no, I fell down the tunnel! I fell down the tunnel! I can see him though! I can see hit the target there! Right, this is my chance! And oh no, the spiders are attacking his spider guards! Oh no, no, they're gonna go and try and climb up! Right, let's try and get out of here! Oh, he's poured down lava! Lava. He's poured down lava on me. Right, I need to be as fast as I can to get out of here before the lava lands on my head. Whew, that was so close. Are the spiders still following me up? And Okay, the spiders are still down there. Oh no, but look at this lava. Uh, what can I do? Right, Barnaby, you stay there. I'm going to go after to hit the target. Um... Right, I think I need to try and get onto this ladder, but this is going to be very dangerous. Let's go and jump in. Oh, ow! I hurt myself, but it's okay. I got onto the, the ladder. Right, let's get rid of this lava uh, before it goes and fills up the uh, the entire room. So you stay down there, Barnaby. Don't worry, I'll be back there as soon as I can. But first, I need to track down, hit the target. He's got to be round here somewhere. I want to make sure I can try and sneak up on him and uh, try and ambush him. Is he down here, down the ladder? Oh, where's he gone? Oh, he hasn't run away already, has he? This is my best chance uh, to try try and catch him out. Is he down here? Oh, there he is! He's right there! He's right underneath me! Oh, let's see if I can try and shoot him with my arrow! Oh, no! Oh, he hit me down! He nearly hit me down into the lava! Right, that is not a good idea. Let's go uh, around the uh, the side this way, and uh, let's see if we can uh, uh, try and sneak up with him uh, from, from this side. Can I get him around this way? Let's see if I can sneak up on him. Ow! What's that? Oh, there's a dispenser! There's a dispenser firing down arrows! Okay, let's go and try and go this side. Oh, no, look! There's one on this side as well! How am I going to get past? Right, if I'm really fast... I think I might be able to go and try and sprint uh, through the, the arrows, right? Wait for one to go and go, 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 out! Okay, let's go and sprint, sprint forward, out! No, I can't get him! Oh, look, he's aiming an arrow at me as well! And the, how am I going to get round there? I can't go from the top because he's going to shoot me, and I can't get round from here. Right, at least he's trapped. At least uh, I don't think uh, he has anywhere that he can uh, escape to uh, from here. So uh, let me see if I can... Um, I tell you what, if I just wait uh, for my, my heart to go completely up and uh, I need to find some way around, I could build... I know, if I go really fast in between the arrows and uh, run along the little walkway there... If I'm careful, I might be able to, to get past the arrows and uh, charge him uh, before he's got a, a chance to, to go after me. Right, let's give it a go after the, the next arrow and go, 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 go. Right, there he is. I can get him. I can get him. I can get him. Oh, he's gone. He, he jumped down. Where's he gone? Has he gone down here? Oh, is he trying to run away again? I don't know where he's gone. Did he run back inside? 
Wait, where did he get to? How does he disappear so fast like that? Is he down here? Where's he gone to? Oh, he's going down there. He's going down the, the ladders. Right. Let's see if I can I can hit him with one of my arrows. Can I get him to that? Get him? I hit him. I hit him. I don't think I'm going to be able to, to get him uh, from here, though. Right. While I'm here with Barnaby, I am not going to waste this chance. I'm going to make sure that I can save Barnaby and get him out of here. This is going to be very dangerous, though. Right, Barnaby, I want you to keep looking at me. Keep staring me in the eyes and be very careful. There's lots of lava around here, and I don't want you to, to get hurt. Right, I'm going to make you stand up now. Now, please head to me, Barnaby. Come on this way. Not to the not to the lava. This way, Barnaby. Straight forward. That's it. That's it. Now, sit down. Sit down. No, careful. Ooh, ooh, there's a big fall down there and still lots of lava. Right, but that is where we need to go uh, because that is where hit the target is. So if I'm very careful and nudge Barnaby, he should be able to go down the ladder uh, but not go uh, in any of the uh, the lava. And don't worry, Barnaby, I will follow right down behind you and uh, you should be safe. I'm just so scared because uh, there's lava all the way over there. Come on, Barnaby, down the ladder. Don't be scared. I'll be right behind you. If you're scared, uh, just look up a bit at me and uh, I'll be right there for you. Right, let's go. Careful of your tail, Barnaby. Careful of your tail. You do not want your tail to get burned. That's it. Keep facing that way and uh, don't turn around otherwise you might burn your tail and uh, now's our chance uh, to go after hit the target and try and trap him actually this tunnel is heading straight for my doghouse where Lee Bear and all of the rest of my dogs are. So if I go this way with Barnaby and then hit the target, uh, goes to the doghouse, uh, then we might be able to sandwich him. But look, he's setting fire to all of the, the tunnel. Right, Barnaby, I want you to stay behind me and I'm going to go and try and put out all of these uh, these fires uh, and then uh, hopefully we're going to, to be safe. And oh, I've got some pork chops ready just in case Barnaby does get hurt. I can feed him some pork chops and uh, yeah, pork chops in his belly uh, normally makes him feel a little bit better. So stay behind me, Barnaby. Oh, why is he just setting fire to his own tunnel. Oh no, Barnaby! Barnaby's hurt, right? It's okay. Keep eating the pork chops. Keep eating the pork chops. It's going to be okay, Barnaby. That's it. Keep looking at me. Don't worry. Stampy Cat's here. You're safe now. I promise you that you're safe now. There we go. He's still okay. So stay behind me, Barnaby. Stay behind me. Do not run into the, the fire. That's it. Stay back. Stay back. It's okay. And let's go and try and put out all of this fire and uh, try and trap him. Hopefully uh, Lee, Bear, uh, Lee Bear's okay uh, with the uh, the rest of my dogs uh, in case he's uh, head, over, uh, head over that way. All right, let's keep charging through. And uh, oh no, there's more fire down the, the end of this tunnel here. I can't believe how evil hit the target is. He was so sneaky. Normally uh, his pl his plans aren't so smart. Normally he just goes to, to try and attack me. This time he was trying to be sneaky and uh, tunneling into my doghouse. So even though uh, this is bad at least I was able uh, to, to find Barnaby again. So uh, it's not all bad. Uh, but yeah, this is just going to be a great opportunity to attack him. Uh, so I want to make sure that this time uh, he has no chance uh, of being able to, to escape. But first I need to try and catch up with him. I can't believe how much fire he put down in this tunnel. Oh, there's more down here. Let's go and uh, break all of this away. I think now uh, we're starting uh, to, to get closer uh, to, to where the, the dog house is, though. So uh, I don't want to leave any of this fire here because uh, it's going to keep spreading. And I do not want Barnaby to get hurt. Oh, there he is. There he is. I can see him. I can see him. He's down the end of the tunnel. He's still trying to set fire to everything. Because he was setting fire to all of the other uh, tunnels, uh, it slowed him down a bunch. Uh, so then there, that gave me a chance uh, to try and catch him. Right. right. I think we are now uh, right by the uh, the dog house. Uh, so this is the time I want to be very, very careful. Oh, no, there's more uh, fire down here. Right. I think there's only... Uh, a few more turns uh, until uh, we're back at the uh, the doghouse. Uh, so let's go and uh, break this away. And then hopefully, as I said, with Lee Bear on one side and me on the other side, he is going to have literally uh, nowhere uh, for him to, to be able to, to escape from. And I think this might be the uh, the time uh, where we're going to be able to, to trap him once and for all. So I think we literally go down to the left here and then curve around to the, the right. And then we're going to be back inside of the, the doghouse. He must have spent so much time building all of this tunnel. I can't believe just how long it is. And here we go. This is the uh, the doghouse. We've arrived. Right, Barnaby, follow me. Where is he? Is he round here? Dogs, are you safe? Where's Lee Bear though? Lee Bear's not here, but luckily uh, all of the dogs seem to be safe. Right, Barnaby, you stay sitting down there. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to go and see if I can see where hit the target is. Where is it? Oh, there is. Oh no, he's setting fire to my house. He's setting fire to my house. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad. Where's Lee Bear? Right, if I go and ring the, the fire alarm, Hopefully Lee Bear's going to hear it and he can come and uh, try and help uh, put out all of this fire. Right, quick, put it out. Put it out. Oh no, he's going to burn down my entire house. He's going to burn the entire house time. Right, if I just go and punch it as quick as I can. I need water. I, I need I need buckets of water to try and put out uh, more of this fire. Right, but now I can just keep trying to, to punch it uh, to put out as much as I can. Oh no, I've been set on fire as well. This isn't good. This isn't good. Right, I can jump in the, the water a little bit and uh, try and put it out. Oh, Lee Bear's here. Yes, and he's dressed as a fireman. Quick, water, water. Right, I got my, my fireman's helmet. I can 
can put that on to protect me. And I've got a, a whole load of uh, water here as well. Oh, no, I took my helmet off. Didn't mean to do that. Right, I got all of this water. Right, Lee Bear, I need your help. Uh, start pour pouring down uh, as much water as you can. And I'm going to go and uh, grab these buckets of water as well. And uh, then I can go and uh, I can try and, uh, and do the same. Right, let's get this fire out as quick as I can. Right, you do the entrance to my house. I'm going to do over here. Oh, no, it's spreading to the doghouse. It's spreading to the doghouse. Right, we need to make sure uh, we keep all of the, uh, the dogs safe. I need your help here, Lee Bear. Oh, no, we can't let it spread over here. Right, if I get to the top of these stairs and uh, just pour some water down, uh, hopefully uh, we can put it all out. And I need to go into the water myself as well because I'm getting hurt. There we go. At least I'm not on fire anymore. Well, let's keep trying to put out uh, all of this fire as much as we can. Oh, no, the whole house is going to burn down. Pretty much the whole house is made out of wood. We need to put this out uh, as fast as we can. Right, I can get it here and stop it spreading to my farm. Right, I think I have made the uh, the dog house safe. Let's just uh, uh, try and put out these uh, last bits of fire here. And I'm going to put some water here. Uh, to help me try and put some of that out. Right, if I try and climb right to the, the very top, uh, then that way I can just pour water down and uh, hopefully it's going to, to spread the whole way down. Oh, look, it's gone to the storage room. It's setting fire to the, the storage room. Right, let's go and uh, grab this dirt and I'm going to go and pile up to the, the very top and I can go and try and put all this fire out. I'm going to lose my house. I'm going to lose my entire house. I spent so long building this place and it's all going to burn down. Hit the target. It's so evil. Right, let's go and pour some water down here and uh, hopefully that's going to go and spread through the, the house and uh, try and put the, the rest of it out. Oh, no, this is my enchantment room. My enchantment room's all burning. Right, there we go. I was able to put out this bit. Oh, it's all made out of wool. It's all wool and wood and uh, it's all bookcases. Why is everything that I build out of so flammable? Right, I think we're able to, to stop most of it spreading. Uh, I am getting set on fire now here though. So let's go and uh, try and put myself out before I burn as well. Let's go and uh, put a bucket of water here. There we go. I was able to, to put myself out, uh, but we still uh, need to put the uh, the rest of the, the house out. Let's go uh, down here and uh, keep trying to break it all away. Oh, there's a bookcase there, although that's going to get disappeared. And all oh, is still fi uh, fire all in here. Let's try and uh, break all of this away. And there's some more up here. All right, let's go and try and get some uh, more of these uh, buckets of water. Actually, I can just take the uh, the water uh, from down here as well to, to try and get some more. All right, let's go back into the entrance of my house and uh, make sure none of it's spreading uh, anywhere further uh, over here. Right, if you do here, actually, Lee, I'm going to go into the, the storage room and uh, make sure that there's uh, no more uh, over here. I think we have put most of it out. There's still a little bit more up here. In my storage room, though. So let's go and uh, try and climb my way up. I want to make sure that my health's going up as well because this is a very dangerous work trying to, to be a fireman here. And oh no, I'm losing all my materials. I think it's okay, though. I think most of the, the storage room it hasn't spread to. So I put the fire out there and there's just uh, a few more uh, pieces over here. I think we have almost done it. I think we've almost uh, put out uh, all of the, the fire. Is, is this it? Is it, is it safe now? Uh, let's go and uh, have a little look down here and make sure it's not spreading. We do not uh, want it to go and head to the uh, the rest of the house uh, because otherwise the entire thing's going to burn down. Look at this place. Look how much of a mess it is. There's all holes in the, the floor and everything. I think, though... I think we've done it. I think we've been able to, to, to save my house and save all of my dogs. Let's go and uh, have another little check from the, the outside just to make sure uh, there wasn't any more fire. It's kind of difficult to, to make my way through my house. It's kind of uh, full of water at the moment now. Uh, I guess water is certainly not as bad uh, as fire. But look, we've done it. We put the we put the house out. It's safe. That lava is supposed to be there, so that's okay. Well done, Lee. You are the best fire bear I have ever seen. Look at this. We were able to to save the house, and it actually probably won't take too long to prepare. It's only the the wooden planks that have gone. So if we just go and uh, fill in all of those uh, gaps, I'm sure my house is going to be back to to normal uh, in no time at all. But actually, I've just thought of something. What am I forgetting? Hit the target! Hit the target still round here. I think I know what his plan was. I think he tried to set fire to the uh, the house as a diversion, uh, so he'd be able to escape. I think he's gone. I think he's just decided to, to run away. So at least the house is safe. And of course, most importantly, all of my dogs, including Barnaby, are finally safe. Oh, you're all fine. You're all okay. And I promise in the future, I am going to look after you all much better uh, than I have been so far. I have missed you so much, Barnaby. Welcome back uh, to the uh, the uh, the family and the the rest of my wolf pack. Um, right, that was that was a little bit intense. Um. Sadly, because of all the excitement, we have actually uh, run out of time uh, to, to play the uh, the sweet swap game. So uh, what I'm going to do in the next episode instead, uh, we're going to head to the uh, the fun land and begin building a, a new game and uh, hopefully have a, a much calmer and a more peaceful episode uh, than we did uh, to today. Uh, so I hope that you all uh, enjoyed uh, today's episode. I want to say a massive thank you to, to Lee Bear uh, for being the hero of the day and helping save uh, the house and all of my dogs. And of course, thank you to you for watching and I will see you 
all later. Bye! Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to another Let's Play on Super Mario Maker. And oh, look! Look! Oh! Super Mario Maker! And oh, look, you can do things! What's that? <laughs> Was that bird mocking me? Wait a second. Oh, wait, wrong one, wrong one. Hello? Hello? <laughs> it repeats you when you press the I. I honestly didn't know about this until I did it. Um, no, let's do my intro. Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Mario Maker video. Is it gonna do it? Is it gonna say it? Oh! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> He's repeating me now. <laughs> <laughs> right, I guess I just tap it and then when the bird comes down, it does it. <laughs> Hello, this is Dabby and welcome to a Mary Make You Bill. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that is amazing. What else can happen? Oh, the M makes things drop. Okay. The A, the A. Oh, the A is going to launch. There it goes. Woo! Then the K. Does the K do anything? Oh, it makes it all old timey and stuff. Anyway, I could spend all day on the menu, but uh, I'm not. I'm going to actually go and play the game. <laughs> How about that? And uh, yeah, I'm going to... Um, what was this? You can now adjust the timer and auto-scroll settings. More, oh, no I, don't, no, I don't want more info. I'm sorry. No, I didn't mean to do this. No, I'm sorry. I'm just really not interested. Okay, well, let's just go and get through. Anyway, okay, while this is going on, I might as well explain. So uh, I have now unlocked uh, the ability for the, the game to look like Mario 3. And I've never actually uh, played Mario 3 uh, in my life. And uh, what's, what are you t what, what's going on now? Oh, just, oh, just let me play. Please, just let me, let me just play. No, let me, let me leave this and let me just play. Am I playing now? Um, <laughs> how can I, here we go, close, close. There we go. Right, back to building, yeah. So I can now uh, play as a, yeah, play in the style of Mario 3, uh, which is what this uh, is now. And I've also uh, got a bunch of new items. And oh, I've got even more new ones since the last time I looked at it as well. So this is going to be cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to be, once again, uh, building a map for Squishy, uh, but this time in this style. So uh, I can change where I am. Uh, there's the castle I unlocked, and that was cool. Uh, but I also unlocked this one, the uh, the airship. Uh, so yeah, let's go and try and uh, build in a, in this style so I think for uh, for this level uh, what I'm gonna do is try and make a um a really fast paced level. I want it to be uh, really quick uh, so Squishy can kind of just charge the uh, the whole way through it and uh, not have to, to really worry about anything. So uh, let's try and make it really streamlined. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to keep testing it and uh, so then that way I can tell if it's good. So for example this jump here you could go like boing 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 but if you're really good you could just go whoa all the way up to the other uh, top and uh, do it really quickly. So that's what the, uh, the aim for this level is going to, to be and I also just want to play around with some of the uh, the new features so uh, she can jump up to, to there um, what's this I think this is yeah this is like a, quite a cool platform you can add in and then you can go and stretch it and uh, make it bigger like this uh, I think it just looks cool it just looks uh, a little bit different to the the other things so let's go and uh, throw that in there shall we and uh, then at the end I might add a uh, I might add a spring in so she can go and uh, bounce off the uh, the spring and uh, go flying up there so where's the uh, the spring as I said now, I've never played played um, uh, Mario 3, which is a bit strange, uh, so I don't know too much about it. I'm also going to add a, um, a little chest here, which I can go and have the... Uh, not a chest, sorry, I got Minecraft on the brain. <laughs> a little uh, uh, question mark cube uh, mystery box. I'm not sure what they're called, actually. Um, but yeah, I'm going to add one in, uh, of them uh, with the, uh, the mushroom in. And I might add some blocks uh, around it as well, and uh, just put some coins in. I might just go crazy with the, the coins. What I could do is just put coins, like, absolutely everywhere. If I kind of do this, I can go just crazy with the uh, the coins and just sort of spread them out everywhere. Just so as she's charging through it, uh, she's He's going to be getting coins everywhere. I think I might do that. I think that would be quite cool. So let's go and try and grab these coins like that. And then I can copy them like this. And uh, then I can just go and really easily just go and spread them uh, all over the place. So I can go and put 
uh, a bunch of them on here like this and just go and sort of spread them absolutely everywhere. And so then that way as she's charging through the, the map, she's just going to be getting coins everywhere she goes. And the coins uh, don't really matter. Like, I don't think it's really going to help her. Like, the scores don't matter. Uh, but it's just cool. It would just be cool just as she's going around uh, just to be getting absolutely loads of coins. Let's go and see uh, what this is like. There we go. This is just kind of more fun already, just with the coins going everywhere. Then she'll go and get this, which she can grab, and then go and keep going. Actually, no. I want her to not stop running. So what I might do is uh, do it so that um, hmm, I kind of want her to bounce the... Um, the mystery box back here somewhere and then that way she kind of needs, uh, needs to race to grab it so that way she's not waiting for it. So let's go to these. I'm changing my mind again and uh, let's go and add this down here and put this uh, a little bit higher. Uh, she should still be able to easily reach that. Yep, no problem. Uh, and then I'm going to do a, uh, a platform. Actually, if I do a, a bouncy pad uh, about here, I could make it so it just bounces along. So let me see. Uh, actually, I need to have the, the bouncy pad uh, actually on a, uh, a block. Uh, so let me go and add in a... Ooh, that's cool. I like the look of this. Uh, so let's go and add uh, this in... Uh, this needs to be a little bit lower. So let's go and move uh, all of this down. Oh, I'm making a right mess here, aren't I? <laughs> let's see, yeah, move that uh, along here like this, kind of. And then move this down here. And then I also need to get rid of that uh, so she can actually reach it. And can she reach the thing? Almost so close, so close. Okay, she just about can't reach the uh, the question box. Uh, this is okay. If I move, if I just move it all back down a little bit, if I move this down to here... And then I need to move this entire thing down uh, so I can just grab it like uh, this and then move the entire thing down to, to here. And then this should be okay. Uh, let's see if this works because it should kind of bounce out like that anyway. And then, yeah, it bounces uh, along like that. And so I might try and make it so as it lands, it's just going to bounce on another one. I think it was about here. Did the other one land? Uh, boing, boing like that. <laughs> and so then that way she's going to be racing after it. But of course, uh, she's not going to be able to make that jump there. Or actually, I could... Actually, no, I don't want to get rid of this because I don't want her to be able to, to get it early. I might make this actually go a little bit higher. And then I can kind of move this all around, if that makes sense. And uh, I do want to do this quite quick because, uh, uh, yeah, once uh, I've finished uh, building this level, I'm going to play her one. So let's see how this goes. It goes boing boing and boing right that is absolutely perfect so now i just need uh, to make her away oh what's this the super mario world game style Ooh, and go set will be available soon that will be cool i absolutely love super mario world uh, so i'm definitely looking forward uh, to that theme but yeah uh, let's carry on with this one first so let's go and try and add out some of these new things so uh, what is this um Okay, this just seems to be another little platform I can add down here, and I can go and stretch this out. So maybe I, uh, I could make it so you kind of have to go um, under it and then back round. So if I stretch... Um, no, I don't want to do that. I want to move you up like that, and uh, so I can go and head down here. And uh, I can then go, and uh, I need to have some way of making my way up. Oh, look! Oh, it's rising. The, the screen's like rising up and down. That's quite cool. Kind of cuts me off a little bit, but that's all right. And then what does this do? I think this is a cannon. And I think it's meant to launch enemies, but I wonder if you can launch yourself in it. Oh, oh no. It looks like it's launching uh, these balls up. Right, I could actually try, if I turn it round, actually, if I do it like this, I might be able to use it to jump in order to, to get up, maybe. Uh... If I do that, and then there we go, I can jump up. Uh, let me just make sure that I can't jump up anyway, because that, that kind of ruins the trick. Okay, I can actually just jump up without it. <laughs> if I make this uh, all slightly uh, higher, uh, then that way uh, I can do it so I wouldn't be able to, to jump up otherwise. So uh, I don't need uh, all of these coins anymore, so I'm going to very carefully get rid of them. I actually kind of don't need them all around here either. But I want to add something else down here. What I might do is just actually add a, a pipe, which is kind of non stop Stop launching coins out uh, just because I think that would be really cool so if I go like this and uh, I can move this across here like this then if I put a coin into the pipe you can see that it's just gonna go absolutely crazy and start firing coins any minute now there we go there come all the coins <laughs> right now I need to go here and I need to try and jump and time it and go boing absolutely perfect right but the whole time I'm gonna be needing to to race the um uh, the thing I've kind of given up with my idea of having her non-stop running to be honest but <laughs> I'm still having fun none the uh nonetheless right so this is gonna be bouncing its way to to here I could kind of make the whole level just chasing for that one mushroom that could be quite funny so it goes like this and I'm gonna be going down here 
here, and it's going to bounce like that, and then it's, oh, it doesn't quite uh, land on that other one. I think that, oh, it fell down. It wasn't on a block, that one. That's why. Um, okay, so let's go and uh, uh, put it on, um, I'll put it on one of these blocks like this, and then I can go and grab that up there, and uh, let's give this a, a test and uh, see where the, uh, the mushroom uh, ends up going. So it's going to go boing, boing, boing. And then, oh, it doesn't uh, quite land on that next one. Let's move it one across and uh, give this a, a tester. It's so good that you can just instantly switch uh, between playing and testing it like this. And uh, there we go. It went and bounced up again, so it's going to end up somewhere around here. So what I might do is kind of trap it and then make it so there's a, a challenge uh, for you to be able to get it. So it should uh, end up trapped uh, in here and be going back and forth. Uh, but then I guess I could maybe put some guards around here as well uh, to make it more difficult uh, for her to, to get up to it. So, uh, yeah, what what new can we have? What's uh, what's this guy? What was it? What was he called? Um, I didn't actually see the name, but let's put this guy down and, uh, and see what he does. Um... Oh, okay. He looks a little bit sneaky. Oh, it's these guys. I know these guys. <laughs> right, they're not too hard to, to get rid of. I quite like them. Uh, let's go and uh, put these guys down on here. Uh, so they will go and hide and kind of guard uh, where the uh, the mushroom's going to, to end up. And then we can try and uh, make a way for, for her to get up there. So there's also these things uh, that kind of launch out fire. Uh, they're quite cool. So uh, you can kind of change the direction, I guess. Aha! Yeah, you can change the other uh, direction. Uh, that they point in. Let's go and uh, add some of these in here uh, just to make it so she has to get down quite carefully like that. I might move this uh, along a little bit just to make it a little bit easier. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean. I don't want it to be hard. I want it just to... What you want it to do is you want it to seem difficult enough so that they're happy when they complete it, but you don't want it too hard that they just keep failing and then get really frustrated. So I think kind of how this is so far is all right. Uh, now I just need a, a way uh, for Squishy to be able uh, to get up to the, the top here. I guess if she came around this way, she yeah, there we go, she can jump up uh, like this and then try and get to the uh, the mushroom uh, that will be in there. Right, uh, let's go and give this uh, a little bit of a, a test to go. I know it's uh, uh, quite a, a small level so far, and I've spent a lot of time on it, uh, but hopefully it's uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be good fun to play. So the, the mushroom's going to start heading that way. I can go and grab all of these coins. I then need to jump, and then, oh, no, that was too slow. Look, the mushroom landed perfectly where I wanted it to. And so now I need to go and try and bounce my... Whoop! need to be careful of those bounce and then bounce again and there we go I got the uh, I got the mushroom and then I can go and kill these guys and then yeah I would then now uh, be able to go back down here and uh, carry on uh, along with the the rest of the the level right uh, let's get a, a move on then shall we uh, what I want to do is uh, add some of these things in so I don't really like the look of them makes the kind of horrible looking skeletons but <laughs> uh, they're pretty cool though uh, because basically whenever you land on them uh, they basically just start moving along like this uh, so then I can go and add in a, a bunch of obstacles uh, that she needs to avoid uh, while it's moving along. So I'm going to try as much as I can uh, to use these new things. Oh, are these the ones that make uh, songs as you go along them? Oh, oh no, do they destroy? Oh, they, they fall down eventually. Okay, right. I've got an idea here then. So what I might do is make an obstacle here uh, so that she needs to jump up onto those blocks and then run along and then jump back down onto this moving platform, but really quickly. Um, right, I might go then and uh, add in. So if I add a platform in here... I might add in a few more of those fiery things uh, so that she then uh, needs to go and uh, jump up again. So uh, I did a, a rubbish job of that there. Uh, you can actually just go and very quickly erase things. Uh, there's a few shortcuts for like copying items and things which is uh, uh, quite handy to, to build quicker. So let's go and uh, add uh, some of these in. Uh, so yeah, if I go and add all of these in. Oh, look at Mario sweating because he gets scared because <laughs> I'm building these fiery things really close to him. Uh, so yeah, what I'd have to do then is uh, jump up and land on some of these platforms uh, which will be uh, about here and then yeah if I do these along like this and then on the other side I'm gonna have to go and jump back down on top of it but I can't stay on these for long and there we go <laughs> I was able to land back down oh no the fire doesn't stay on though right just to, to make sure uh, let's go and add some spikes in as well just to make sure that <laughs> she's not gonna go and land down there so yeah I'd come on here and then I'd wait to the last minute and I'd run along here like this and then I'd jump back down and uh, get to the the other side like this but these uh, start to, to fall and oh 
it looks like I'm getting quite close to what would be the uh, the end of the, the level uh, as well. But uh, yeah, I can stretch it out and uh, make it further. So uh, what else can I add in? There's these little bomb things. And then there's this as well. This is a, a cloud. I think this might be uh, what I can jump in uh, to go and fly around. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's just something that you can stand on. Okay, let's go and build out of some of these clouds then. So uh, this would be carrying on moving to, to about here. Uh, so let's go and uh, add in some of these clouds. I might go and uh, make a, a happy face of, uh, of clouds that she can uh, go and uh, go and jump in. So I'm stretching up the uh, the level a little bit further uh, so I can keep going. And uh, here can be my happy clouds if I go like this and like this. I might make it a little bit bigger so it fits in nice. So there we go. <laughs> here are my happy clouds. So uh, let's go and uh, test this out and uh, make sure this uh, actually works. Uh, the worst thing to do is to build the entire map and then go to try and test it and then realize None of it actually works. <laughs> so uh, this will come to here. I can then go and jump up onto my happy clouds. And there we go. How perfect did that work? And I can actually jump up further here. But I don't really want uh, to add anything up there. Uh, what I want to do is, uh, yeah, carry on building the, the level. So was, I think I've used almost everything new. There's the power block as well. I'm not sure uh, what this does. Um, I think you can use it to kind of change items and things. And oh, there we go. Oh, I think it can be used to destroy a bunch of enemies maybe. Let me go and uh, test it out uh, just to make sure. Let me go and uh, grab some of... Uh, I'll do some of these because I can put them on here and then they uh, they won't fall down on me. Uh, so let me go and uh, use the, uh, the power. I think I need uh, to press... There we go. I can throw it. Oh, I think I threw it too far though. Let me go and uh, try that uh, again. Let me get the uh, the power block back. And oh, nope. Once again, I didn't throw it very well. Let's try and uh, add a, a wall in uh, so I can throw it against the other uh, wall. And oh, <laughs> once again, threw it the uh, the wrong way. I keep expecting to pick it up, but he kind of immediately throws it. There we go. Yeah, you can see uh, that it goes and uh, destroys the uh, the enemies. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a room full of a bunch of enemies, and then uh, Squishy can just throw that, and it's going to immediately destroy them all. So uh, let's go and build a um a little room down here and tell you what we could add some big enemies into it if we want we could actually add uh, some huge enemies so i'm gonna grab this type of block again and i'm just gonna add a, a big room down here and then i'm just gonna fill this with as many different googlies as i can so uh, let's go and get rid of that and uh, what you can also do is make the the massive enemies so if i grab a goomba he looks pretty cute down there but if i put a mushroom on him ta -da! <laughs> he now looks a whole lot bigger so i can go and uh, throw some of the them down there and uh, I'm gonna make the the room smaller just so it fits in perfectly and uh, let's go and build the the side up here and what I can do now is just stack uh, more enemies on top so uh, let's go and grab some of uh, these things and uh, we can put some of these along here like that so they're on their heads <laughs> and let's just make a weird stack of all of these different things and I think uh, maybe some Koopa Troopers on the top oh no look the Koopa Troopers actually destroy them or did I just destroy them by accident then uh, let's go and uh, add those back in and uh, hopefully they're going to stay in place. There we go. We have our little stacks. And so what I want to do now is I'll make it so that uh, where she needs to go is down here. So I'll break a little hole and hopefully uh, the... Um the, uh, the Goombas won't fit through there. Uh, so she has uh, to take them out in order to, to get past. But if I kind of do a roof like this as well, and then I'll do a wall on the, the other side. I'll maybe use this uh, just to make it look a little bit different. And then I can add the uh, the power block. And then I can see if she can work out what she needs to do. So do they stay in place? Oh, look. Oh, no. The Goombas wander off. <laughs> That's not very good. Right. I need to, to make a way uh, to try and block them in. I guess if I just do this. I want to make sure that I can actually fit through it myself, though. And oh. Oh, look at that. It just went flying. I guess it doesn't hit into these. Uh, let's try and do... Uh, let's just do a, a wall up like this then. And uh, let's see uh, if this works. If she goes and throws it. There we go. Oh, it didn't take them all out though. It only took out the big ones. Okay, I don't know. This is going to be a little bit too dangerous then. Um, let's try and... Uh, uh, tell you what, let's give her a, a fire flower as well. So let's give, give her that and a fire flower and then that way it should be fine for her to, to be able to, to get past and uh, now I think the level uh, is going to be pretty much done so let's move the uh, the final part along uh, so she can get to here and get a random reward and I think that will make it the, the end of the, the level so the final thing uh, that I want to do is just to go absolutely coin crazy you know my idea of adding coins everywhere yeah I'm going to go a little bit mad now and oh 
I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Gonna go a little bit mad now. And uh, just add in uh, coins uh, everywhere I can. So we're at uh, a whole load of coins around here. Uh, we'll do a, a bunch along here as well. And uh, we can do some around this area here where the, the mushroom's going to, to go. I'm going to add uh, some uh, along the, the top here like this. Uh, yeah, just going to go absolutely crazy with these coins. Uh, just so she's going to be pretty much getting coins uh, the entire time. I could actually uh, do a big trail along here like this. Uh, so as she's going across, she's going to be grabbing all of those coins. And then I can go a little bit coin crazy down here as well. And uh, fill all of uh, these in. And uh, yeah, let's go and add uh, another pipe in as well. Which is going to be firing the uh, the coins out. Because uh, these are, are pretty cool as well. Let's go and shove the, uh, the coin in there. And uh, yeah, I think this will uh, just about uh, be the, the level complete. So all I want to do now is I want to test it and uh, make sure that it is actually uh, a good, fun and working level. So uh, yeah, let's go and uh, uh, see if I can actually complete it. I kind of should, uh, seeing as, uh, as I did build it. And you know what? It is really good fun. And oh look, oh you can go in front of these. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I wish I knew that before, but oh well. <laughs> You're learning new things every day. All right, let's see if I can go and grab that mushroom. It's a bit risky uh, because of those little things there. And oh, look, they seem to throw things in exact straight lines. If I can jump over them. Oh, no, I got hit. I failed my own level, right? Back to the uh, the beginning. I'm going to make sure I can at least uh, complete this once uh, before uh, uh, I hand it over. Uh, I might uh, just skip getting the uh, the mushroom because I really don't need the, uh, the mushroom. Room. And uh, I will get the uh, the flower later on, uh, so I just might not worry about that. Oh, but them throwing those things is a little bit dangerous. Right, here's my little smiley face, and there are the coins going crazy. <laughs> I can now go and uh, throw the uh, the power like that, and whoa, there's uh, everything getting destroyed. And now, if I go crazy with the uh, the fire flowers, I can charge through. And oh no, I can't fit through the gap. I can't fit through the gap at the end. <laughs> this is why we play test. Right, let's uh, jump back into to this mode. And uh, what happens if we destroy... Uh, tell you what, if I destroy those two blocks and uh, then go and uh, add this other one back here, uh, let me give uh, this a go and uh, see how well this works. So I go and use the, uh, the power if I can go and use it. There we go, that's that kicked. And then I can charge down here, take out all of these guys, it's jolly good fun, and then jump out. And I have completed the level! <laughs> right, so coming up now is going to be me playing through a level which Squashy has been making for me! Okay, right, it's time to play Squashy's level. It looks like she's done the, uh, the airship, uh, the same as I did! <laughs> and that was not the, uh, the best of starts. Alright, uh, let's go and uh, have a, another attempt then. All right, looks like we're gonna jump over the piranha plants. One, two, three, and oh, okay. There's a mushroom down there. There's also a bunch of flying goombas as well. Looks like Squishy's uh, keeping up with her strategy of having everything having wings. And oh look, there's like um a weird thing in the background. Is that anything I can use or nope? I think it's just a, a cool thing in the background. Right, it looks like we have ourselves a uh, a bunch of fire. Actually, can I pick that? Oh look, I can kick the uh, the spring around. If I kick the, the spring to here, can I then go and uh, try and break these? I think they all only have coins in. I was hoping uh, I'd get something a bit better. Uh, there's a few clouds here. Let's go and uh, try and jump across to these. And this is when it's going to get difficult. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, let's go quick, go quick, go quick, go quick, go quick. Oh, jump through. Oh, look at that. Look at that skill. And oh, what does it say? Oh, I think it's going to say cake, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> I think it says cake. Oh, no, no, no. The mushroom, the mushroom, the mushroom, the mushroom. I got it. And oh, no. And then immediately lost it and fell off. <laughs> okay, okay, this is part of the learning process. This is the part of learning what to do. And no, oh, I think this is supposed to be a cake. Look, this is like the icing, the clouds, the icing. And then these are the rather scary cherries. I think that's what this is supposed to be. And let me please get the mushroom before these guys come. There we go. I got the, uh, the mushroom and let's just get out of here as fast as I can. Right, I want to try and do this really quick. So let's wait uh, for all of the, uh, the fire to, to pass. And then let's go, right, i got to wait a little bit longer, and then duck. Oh no, I got hit! All right, let's run while I'm blinking, because I can't be hurt again. And oh, oh look, there's a feather! There's a feathers falling! I think you can use that to, to, to fly, I think, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Right, I'm getting there uh, slowly but surely. I'm getting a little bit better. I'm doing this bit uh, quicker at least. Uh, let's try and use this Koopa uh, to take care of all of those guys, and then jump my way up here. 
And right, let's keep going. This fire is very, very difficult uh, in order to, to get past. I did a, a nice easy level for Squashy, and this is the uh, the way she pays me back. <laughs> right, let's run, 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 run. And uh, let's see if we can go and grab. I think there was a, a mushroom down here. Oh, there was the mushroom. Right, I think I just need to, to survive in that area uh, until I'm able to, to get the mushroom, and uh, then I can uh, carry on. This is definitely a lot more difficult uh, than the, the past maps. Right, there's the, the first mushroom, and so my challenge is uh, to get past the uh, the fire without getting destroyed so it's going to be more dangerous now because uh, i've lost the the first mushroom and i know uh, not to get the uh, the first uh, mystery box let's go and try and avoid these i can get down to here no no I got hit by the, the piranha plant. I think I need that first mushroom. I think without that first mushroom, I have no chance of, uh, of being able to, to get across. So uh, this is kind of what a lot of these games are like. You don't always succeed first time, uh, but you keep doing it. And each time you go, uh, you kind of learn something new uh, that will help you uh, you out next time. And I'm not sure what that guy was doing. All right, let's go, go, go. All right, I hit that, but it's okay. I can keep charging right. And I can see the, the mushroom. Rather than going ahead, I'm going to stay in this area uh, until it comes back to me. Let's take out this guy and there we go i was able to to grab the the mushroom and oh it looks like there's all sorts of things in here and oh, look there's another mushroom there i don't actually think i can get any of them uh, just because there's blocks ahead of them and there's bowsers there's two bowsers going after me oh no i set them loose i set the bowsers loose let's keep going luckily there are mushrooms everywhere i got fr I'm frozen i got frozen right let's keep going i think this is the end of the level and i did it <laughs> i got to the end of the level and i think those are supposed to be more cakes that's what i think they're supposed to be a bunch of cakes with icing on the whole way through i like that i like that level it was very difficult but it had lots of cakes in so i'm happy <laughs> uh, so there we go and uh, that is the uh, the end of this episode here uh, oh, oh yeah look look at the bottom of the screen you can see uh, how much it all looks like cakes there when you can see the uh, the whole view uh, so yeah if you want to see squishy playing my map or her building this map uh, you can see a link to her video in the uh, the description uh, but apart from that uh, we'll be uh, yeah we'll be doing more mario maker videos soon so i want to thank you all very much for watching and i will see you all later. Bye!